CNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny, yeah, it looks like mostly sunny, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. We've got a mixed bag out here. That mix goes like this. The Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, and Russell are trading lower off 148, 11, 18, and eight, 6 points, respectively. Semis are up 6. Trannies are up 57. You've got gold trading up 3160, trading out at 1808. 1805 is the number to remember. A close above that says the gold is breaking out and will head higher or should head higher. Silver's up 24 pennies. She's trading at 2013. Light sweet crude is trading out at 88 bucks. Uh, we'll take a look at that. I believe it's testing the bottom of a uh, of a hammer candle out there. We'll take a look at that. Natural gas off 10 cents. The 30 year treasury up 21 ticks, 143. 16 is the print. Let's go take a look at that nine panel. Market update chart in the upper left-hand corner. You've got that ES Mini. Still got that A to B equals CD pattern that is in play out here. It's next price projection level, 42.26. Bearish reversal candle would confirm a Gartley sell pattern. The same thing for the NDX 100, the NQ. That's in the upper right-hand panel. Uh, that is an A to B equals CD pattern. The upside is next price projection area being 13.738. That is unless a bearish reversal candle forms. Uh, spot volatility is still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's consolidating with inside its daily profile. Uh, here we take a look at Goldilocks. Two days ago, we had a TD9 count top. And that uh, top set up the high of that pattern. That's at 1805. So close above that, we're at 1807.40, is going to suggest a further move higher. In the case of silver, it's got resistance at 2051. So 1805 is the resistance level in essence for gold. Lights we crude is testing a hammer candle from back on July the 14th. That hammer candle low is 88.23. If we get a close below that, and right now we're trading out at uh, 88.06. You close below that. The saying is if you close below the bottom of a hammer candle, if you're long, you are wrong, which just simply means we need to go figure out where the next level of support would be. If you take a look at natural gas, really kind of trading sideways ish the last couple of days, still prices below. The uh, top of its daily profile needs to close above that for a second consecutive day. Did yesterday. Uh, that close needs to be above $8.20. That's the September contract we're looking at. If you get that, then price likely heads back to its highs. And the 30-year Treasury, even though it's up, it's trading into resistance. That's the top of that profile, 144.09. The high today, 144.08. So you know the sellers are sitting right there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.